Hello, my sewing friends. Here are my thoughts on the Reliable Maven 120 IS. My name is Jen and this is my sewing room and I am really glad that you stopped by to join me today. Welcome. Let me tell you about this iron. I got this iron from the Reliable Corporation. Uh, they very kindly sent it to me. I did not pay for it. And they said, we would love it if you would review this iron. And I said, I would be more than happy to. When I talked with them, there were five things that I wanted in an iron. I wanted it to be affordable and easy to get and have a lot of steam and have a big tank for the water to make the steam because I don't want to have to fill it up all the time. And I wanted to be able to disable the shutoff feature. This meets four of those things. You can't disable the shutoff, but I don't know about you, it's probably a good thing for me that I have not burned my house down. Just saying. Uh, I am really happy with this iron, so I want to tell you all about why I'm happy with it and a couple of things that I don't like about it because I've had to get used to them and I'm not sure I like being used to them yet. But before I do that, let me tell you a little bit about the company. The Reliable Company is located in Toronto. It's a family run business and the man who founded it died in 1991. His name is Milton Kahn. And I, I wanna tell you about him because I read this. He was always trying to help people find jobs. No one was a stranger to him. He was a man full of kindness, humor, and warmth. That's what his wife said about him. Um, like I said, his son is now the CEO and Milton grew up around the garment industry because his dad was a tailor. And so this company makes all sorts of things related to the garment industry. They make commercial machines, commercial steaming, I, you know, cleaning things, commercial irons, commercial steamers, uh, ironing boards, all manner of things. And uh, they have six home irons that they make. One is a steamer and one is a pro steam station. Three are irons, uh, kind of like, you know, the ones you can find everywhere. And then the Maven is like this with the bigger tank and the separate base. What I like, let me talk about what I love about this iron, because I, I, there are several things that I love. First of all, that tank, that is a one liter tank and it does not run out of water very often. It really does not. You, um, you refill it by just, uh, really all you do is push this out. It kind of snaps in there. And you can take this out and it does have water in it right now, you can kind of see. But you just flip this up and you pour the water in and that's it. And then you put it back on and it just snaps right on like that. This is the cord that the steam runs through to get to the iron. The iron itself doesn't hold the steam. The tank does, and it kind of goes up through. Um, it has this little feature on it where it's like a little lock so that, you know, I can pick the whole thing up and it's not that heavy. It's not, I don't know, I think I read that it was eight pounds, nine pounds, something like that. It's about the weight of a bowling ball. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a bowler, so maybe not. But um, I like that feature because uh, it means that if you if you turn it over and latch it, then it's not going anywhere. I like the fact that it only has four settings. You know how most irons have an indicator um, as to like what kind of fabrics that um, that setting is for. This one gives you a list on the instruction sheet and then you're on your own. And I like that. It does have a quick reheat, even though it does have an auto shut off that you cannot disable, which I wish you could, but you can't. So 
Um, the thing is, even if I've been sewing for longer than 10 minutes, I'll come back over to the ironing board and this thing hasn't cooled off enough yet to where if I pick it up and all I have to do is pick it up and it reactivates itself, it wakes back up and it'll heat right back up and it doesn't take 30 seconds. It takes, I don't know, maybe 10, <laughs> which is really nice. There are simple controls. I mean, basically it's on low, medium, high, really high and off and that's it. I like that. I don't need for a big fancy iron to be very complicated. I just need for it to get hot and iron in my clothes. This is not difficult, you know? I don't need 25 settings. I just need the basics and that's what this has. That's This does what it's designed to do and it doesn't mess around. That's all it does is the one thing. Uh, it does have an anti-calc feature, which um, is um, right here, it pops up and it's got a little cartridge. And this is just in case you're using water that is um, full of a lot of minerals, which my water here at home does have a lot of minerals, but I don't put that water in here. If you use distilled water, you're probably never going to have a problem. At least that's what the guy at Reliable told me. But uh, I don't do that because um, I think that the water that we get to drink, although it has some minerals in it, it's not my well water here at my house. We don't drink our water. We, um, we go and get water, but it's not distilled. So anyway, happy medium there. And the anti-calc thing takes care of that problem. Um, there are all kinds of specs on this um, that I read on Amazon when I was comparing this to a Rowanta. There is a, a Rowanta steam station kind of like this that's about $10 more on Amazon, but it's very comparable features. They also have an, another Rowanta that's higher end that has a lot more features, but you know, I don't know about you, but every Rowanta I've ever had leaked and that hasn't happened with this. Now, granted, I haven't had this for 10 years, and who knows, in two more years, if it's gonna be working as well as it is right now, but I think it probably will, because they're reliable. So, a couple of things that I don't like, and these are really more things that I've had to get used to transitioning from a regular old iron that I've always had to this kind of base, separate base and iron. Uh, one is that it won't stand up. Like you cannot, it, it won't stand up. There is no base, well, flat base here so that you can't just iron and then stand it up. You have to return it to the base, which I kind of wish that you could stand it up. But on the other hand, I think you're not going to knock it off in any way if you have to return it to the base every time. I'm not sure why they did that, but I don't care. It's not a big enough deal to be a deal breaker for me. Um, this cord, it's a, it's a cloth covered cord so that the steam can come through, but it can tend to be a little unwieldy for me. And I wish that I had a better setup for this. I do have a cord keeper over here on my ironing board, but um, it's plastic and it isn't very sturdy. And so I wish I kind of had a way to get the cord up out of my way. But, you know, that's just a do the best you can and get used to it or fix it or, you know, one of those sorts of situations. It's not the fault of the iron. It's, it's me getting used to it. This does go up and down, but it is not a 360 swivel cord, which I kind of wish it was, but it's not so okay. The other thing is you really do have to have a designated space for this. You can't just set it on the floor and iron, or I don't know, you could try that, but I wouldn't recommend it. You really do need to have a base to sit it on. So you either need to have a, an ironing board that's big enough, um, uh, like a, an iron space that's big enough, or you need to have a table with a padded area that you can iron on um, where you can put this next to it, or uh, I don't know, like a separate thing beside your ironing board, like maybe, I don't know, a table or a bookcase or some shelf kind of thing. Um, I have a little wire um, platform here. It's not wire, it's metal platform on the end of my ironing board. 
and it's not overly stable. It's probably not the most stable place I could put this, but for right now, it's what works. So I'm using that and um, it still is fine. It, I mean, it's not, it hasn't fallen off or anything like that. It's pretty stable. I wouldn't use it if it weren't stable, but. Um, so those are just some things I've had to get used to and that I think you should keep in mind if you're going to consider getting one of these. To be honest, I'd give this about a nine and a half out of 10. Even with those things that I don't like, those are really, like I say, more get it used to it, get used to using it kinds of things than actual things that I don't like. So uh, I think it's a pretty good value for the level of iron that it is. I think that um, it performs well and I'm really glad that I got it and I would recommend it. So if you have any questions about this, let me know and I will either answer them or I will point you to where you can get the answer, like to their website or whatever. I will link to their website down below. Do check them out. I'll also link this to Amazon and it'll probably be an affiliate link so that if you click that, I'll get a benefit. You know what? You can also just go to Amazon all by your lonesome and do it that way. Either way works. Um, so I think that's about it. Um, I really like this iron. I really do recommend it. So that's it for now for me. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.